In today's video, we'll be going over 3D equilibrium, specifically free body diagrams. In order to construct a free body diagram and solve for its reaction forces and moments, we have to assume whatever we are analyzing is in static equilibrium, meaning that the objects are at rest. With the objects at rest, we then know that the summation of the external forces will equal to zero, and the summation of external moments will also equal to zero. When drawing a free body diagram, we have to keep in mind that a support can have as many as six degrees of freedom. It all depends on the support conditions, which we'll take a look at later in the video. If the translation of an object is restrained, then a reaction force will develop either in the x, y, or z direction. If the rotation of the object is restrained, then a reaction moment will develop. Keep in mind that some supports may include reactions that are not significant under normal use, such as single journal bearing, single thrust bearing, and hinges. We can neglect couple moment reactions unless they are necessary for equilibrium. In this slide, we have a table that gives us different types of connections. It also tells us which reactions are formed at that connection, and it also tells us how many unknowns there are. You can use these if you ever forget or need more help on finding reaction forces in problems. We'll take a closer look at connection number 9, single hinges. For example, let's compare a single hinge door with a multi-hinge door. On the single hinge door, let's say this box here represents the hinge and this big rectangle represents the door. We know, that, we know that the weight of the door is acting downwards on the door, so we can draw a downward force and label it W. To support the weight of the door, the hinge will exert an upward reaction force, which we can call RY. Since the weight of the door will want to twist the hinge this way, the hinge will have to create a moment going counterclockwise in order for the door to be in static equilibrium. Now, for doors with two hinges, these will be the reaction forces for the hinges. If we take the summation of forces in the x direction and assume positive is in this direction, then we can see that the Rxa and Rxb are equal and opposite, so they are considered a couple. What is a couple? Well, a couple consists of two parallel forces that are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, and do not share a line of action, which would make these forces a couple. A couple does not produce any translation and only produces rotation. Let's take a moment about hinge A and assume counterclockwise to be positive. The highlighted forces RAY, RAX, and RBY will not contribute to the moment about hinge A because these forces go through hinge A. So we have positive RBX times D prime because it is going counterclockwise, minus W times D because this will go clockwise. We can see that the moment created by the weight of the door will be resisted by a couple generated at the hinges. These act to put the system back into equilibrium. To summarize today's video, we learned how to construct free body diagrams in 3D systems. We assume whatever we are analyzing is in static equilibrium. So we can apply the equations of equilibrium, which we'll be going over in the next video. We also looked at different connection types and the reaction forces produced at that connection, which we can draw on our free body diagrams when we show all the unknown reactions. In the next video, we'll be going over the equations of equilibrium and the steps we need to solve 3D equilibrium problems.